Hey everybody, quick announcements. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know I am going to be raising my prices from $40 to $50 in um, February. So it's right now it's $40 for a 30 plus minute reading. Readings usually go to about 40 or 45 minutes. So if that's something you've been wanting to do, I would recommend sending me an email now. Um, we can schedule it even if you want to do it the first week of February, we can still hold that $40 price in, but, um, but yeah, and sometime in February, probably early February, I'm, I'm raising my prices to $50 for the 30 to 45 minute long readings. You know, they take a lot of energy and I get pretty in depth and answer all your questions in those videos. So I figured, you know, since they're so long, I should probably raise my prices a little bit, but I'm not planning on raising them after February, I think once they're at $50, they're just going to stay at that price. I'm not, I want to make sure it's affordable for all my viewers. So if I ever did raise it again, it'd probably be like a year or two or longer from now. So I'm, I'm planning on just sticking with the $50 price, um, from here on out. But, but yeah, it's $40 right now. So if you want to stick with the $40 rate, go ahead and send me an email. Just wanted to make that announcement and B, I feel like there's a message for someone, maybe just a couple people specifically. This might not be your message, but there's just something the cards wanted to say. So let me bring this out really quick. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. It is below in the description box. Yeah, there's a quick message here. Twin Flame, Deception, Healing, Meditation, Spirits of the Living. Okay. Oop. Priestess. Sorry, can you see that? Figured while I'm on here with you guys, I just wanted to make that quick announcement just for those of you that have been wanting a reading from me, just to let you know. Now would be a good time to send me an email before my prices go up in February. But like I said, I'm, I'm sticking with the $50 price after February. Like, I'm not going to raise them again on you guys. I'm not planning on it, at least. Okay, you have a feminine energy on the other side. This Again, this is probably just for a couple people. This is a very specific message, so this might not be your message. This is for someone specific, like probably just one or two people. So if it's not resonating, it's not your message. You have someone on the other side. Could be like a mother figure, some type of older, like a mother or a grandma. Um, could even be like a goddess or a um, an angel, like some kind of higher being. You know, you see this very like, look at this very like feminine loving energy. It's like someone who's just, it's like a priestess energy, someone who's a spiritual leader, like a mother figure type, like kind, but strong, assertive, older woman, um, or like a mother type, maybe not like older, but like probably, I would say like probably over 40 is the energy I get. I get someone who's very mature, very wise. So that's why I feel like it's either someone you knew that's crossed over, like a mother or a grandmother or, a, or like a mother figure. Or it could also be just like a goddess or an angel or some kind of guide that you have. But whoever it is, they're looking out for you and they're trying to protect you. You know, they love you. They're here with you. Um, they're, they have your best interest at heart. They're trying to protect you here. I feel like with twin flame and deception here, there's a warning. It's like lies, gossip, malicious intentions, um... Could be dark magic for some of you. But you know what? I always like to tell people because like if you do have dark magic on you, you can get it off yourself. You do not need to... A lot of people will con you and try to tell you like, oh, you have a curse or you have a hex on you or you have, you know, this or that on you and you need to pay them hundreds of dollars to remove it. No, you can remove this yourself. If you do have someone doing black magic on you, again, this is for someone specific, if you do have that going on, you can remove it on your own. You don't need anybody to remove it for you. You you have the power to do this yourself. 
Um, and again, this is a really specific message. So this is not for everybody. This is just for probably just for one person, maybe even two people at most. But what I'm getting here is there's some kind of negativity regarding your twin flame. So it could be your twin flame, his, his or herself, or it could also be someone like a karmic or someone that's connected to them that's trying to keep you guys apart. Because I feel like there's a need for healing. We've got shadow work, pain, nostalgia, purging. The path to wholeness requires introspection, honesty, vulnerability. So whoever this mother figure is, she's looking at, she's telling you to look at this in an honest light. Because whoever, I don't know if it's your twin flame or someone connected to your twin flame, but there was some kind of energy where you were used or you were drained or you were deceived um, or there was lies or gossips or just n gossip, just negative intentions. And this this woman, this this motherly figure in your life wants you to be honest about this with yourself. And she wants you to heal. She wants you to do the shadow work. She wants you, it could be that you already know what this is, but maybe you still have cords that you need to cut that's connected to this situation. You know, maybe like you feel like you moved on, but part of you is still holding on to this. And it's like, she wants you to like purge. She wants you to go through the pain, do the shadow work, like embrace that pain and like heal it and, you know, let it come up. Because if you suppress that pain, then it's like, it's going to come up again later in uglier ways. Like it, it's, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, if you try to ignore it, it's like, it's just going to explode on you later down the road. Like you have to have a balance of positive and negative. Like there's no light without darkness. It's not saying to just get sucked in that energy where you're just completely negative. It's just saying that if something really hurt you, you can't just be like, oh, I'm good. I'm fine. Like it's all good. And just push it to the side and keep going. Like it's going to come up again later. You can't just suppress that. That's something that needs to be acknowledged, you know, looked at, healed, released. So there's some kind of situation that you've either gone through in the past or that you're currently going through regarding your twin flame or someone your twin flame is connected to and regarding deception, lies, gossip, negative intentions. And this mother figure wants you to heal from that. She wants you to do the shadow work. She wants you to purge this connection, maybe cut ties too. There, there could be the need to cut ties because whatever this is, it's still affecting you. Even if it's not in your life anymore, there still could be astral cords that are affecting you. And this woman wants you to meditate and go inward. And, um, you know, this is blocking your intuition. Whatever this is, it's been blocking, it's been blocking you. It's been blocking your abundance, blocking your intuition. And so I think she wants you to look at this and figure this out and heal this and move on from this. Because it could be like a subconscious thing, like maybe like a belief pattern that started from this, or maybe, maybe like the astral cords, like they're still picking up on your energy. Maybe they're like a psychic vampire type draining your energy. And it's like, it needs to be healed from, you know, and with meditation here, it's like, things are going to start flowing effortlessly to you once this block is removed. You, you need to get back in touch with your free spirited self. You need to find that peace and clarity and meditate, um, do the healing work and, and meditate, you know, so you can hear your own voice again. And there's a deep psychic bond with somebody here. And maybe you, maybe it's been hard to hear it because of this. Can, was there anything else you want to say about this connection? What's their final advice? Fairy realm, fairy soul. Okay. Some of you come from the fairy realm. Vulva. Ancient and powerful magic. Cedar trance. Shapeshifter. Um, sorry if this card... I'm. This is, a, this is a deck that I made. It's available to purchase. Sorry if it's... For those of you that are not involved in this kind of stuff, I'm sorry if this is confusing. Like I said, this is a, this is a message for someone specific. So, like, if this is you, you're probably already into this stuff. You probably already know what a lot of this is. Um... Vulva, ancient powerful magic, trances, hypnotic energy. This card may also indicate being under the influence of magic. So yeah, I do get that magic was involved here. But like I said, you can remove this yourself. You don't have to pay anyone to remove it. This is something that you can do at home. Like you can make, you can do this at home. Don't, don't let anybody, because if you go to someone about this, they're probably going to tell you like, oh yeah, you have a curse on you and you're going to, you're going to die if you don't give me $300 to remove it or something. You know, people, 
there's a lot of scam artists that do that. So you need to be aware of that, um, that you can, you have the power to re remove whatever this is yourself. Shaman, um, maybe, maybe go to experience shaman, you know, soul retrieval is good, but again, don't, I don't know. You can do, you can do this yourself. I feel, but it's like, maybe you've lost little parts of your soul that you need to call back to you is kind of what it's saying here. Astral realm. Yeah. Um, can we get some final cards? I didn't want to do a long reading. I just had a quick, felt like these wanted to say something. So, uh, what's your final advice? Please give me something clear and direct. Masculine energy, which granted hidden desires, hmm. Secrets, fear of rejection, shy, secret, admirer. Whoops, sorry. Sigil magic. This is interesting. Hmm. Fear of rejection, hidden feelings, sigil magic. For some of you, I think there's two people this is for. I think there's only two people this message is for. For one of you, it's saying that your twin flame is the one that's trying to manifest you back because they know they don't have a chance anymore and they're using spiritual aids to do it. And so there's this warning here. For others, I think it's saying that whatever this energy was connected to, um, it's like your wish will be granted. This, this energy you're asking for, whether it's feminine or masculine, whoever you're asking for to come in, it's like it's going to be granted once the, these secrets come out, once you do this healing work, once you figure out what this energy is that's been blocking you, that's connected to your twin flame, and you remove that energy, your life is going to go forward. Grounding, you know, also it could be an earth sign, um, could be a confirmation for one of you. Grounding, you know, the energy you seek will be found in nature. Prophetic dream might be a lucid dreaming and astral traveling with this person. Um, Okay, really quick. Sorry, I did not mean to do a long reading. I just was going to make an announcement, and then, like, the cards were like, I want to say something. Okay. I'm a dork, I know. <laughs> what is this? What does this want? Psychic battle. Yeah, the fight isn't over. Victory after struggle, though. It's like one more battle. It's like you still, you're almost there. I think you've been wondering, like, where's your abundance? Where's Where are the things that you want? And it's like this one little thing is what this whatever this is connected to your twin flame whatever it, whether it's trauma or whether it's current energy it's that one block that needs to be removed is there anything any final messages about this energy what do you want to say what do you want to say yeah there's hmm see this is what's stopping your your love from coming in now, again, for one of you, I think it's your Twin Flames karmic that's doing magic to block you guys from being together. Because look at this, Two of Cups, like someone wants to make a love offer. Knight of Cups, someone coming forward, like wholeheartedly, like open, loving, ready, like look at this energy. And then we've got this devil blocking it. <laughs> it's like, really? Really? Um, for others, I think, for for the other the other person watching this, I think it's more like your Twin Flame is the one... Or the either your twin flame or the trauma associated with your twin flame, like maybe like a belief pattern or a cord that you haven't cut. Well, you can't really cut cords to your twin flame, which makes it complicated. But I mean, you can put the intention in the universe that that's not what you want because you do have multiple life partners, so you're not stuck. You know what I mean? Um, Four of Cups reversed, okay. Yeah, so, sorry, I don't know why I just zoned out there. Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, the Devil. Yeah, so for some of you, it's like your twin flame is blocking you from having this love that you've been trying to manifest. Like, for some of you, you're like, I'm done with my twin flame, I want a soulmate, and you're working on manifesting it, and then this Devil energy is still blocking you. So this could be addiction, just unhealed wounds, um, 
karma, just, just ties, just something that something regarding your twin flame that's blocking you. You probably know what it is. So how do you remove it? What do you want to say about removing it? Three of Pentacles, working together. This is kind of like a let your friends help you card almost, where it's like working together to build something. You know, maybe you do need some help. Not necessarily from like, not like professional like, healers or anything i mean that's that can be good but you have to be careful because there's so many scam artists out there you really have to find the right one but i take it more as like talking to your friends and kind of bouncing ideas off each other nine of cups king of pentacles yeah you have a king of pentacles coming in or a queen of pentacles ten of pentacles abundance yeah things are going to start moving fast when this um energy is removed Okay, but show me how it's... What do we, What can we say about removing the energy? Five of Cups. Okay, letting it go for one thing. Accepting the loss. Accepting the pain. Going through that. Page of Wands. For some of you, maybe it's just like you haven't let go of your twin flame. And maybe you kind of know that you need to. Like maybe they're a toxic person this lifetime and you're still kind of holding on to it. The High Priestess. Getting in your High Priestess energy. Any final messages about letting, how to remove this energy? Relationships, karmic partner, third party situation, moon magic. I feel like the person this is for might be a witch, so you already know how to remove this. This is just confirmation for you, you know? Or you maybe were a witch in your past life and you're starting to dabble and it's kind of like saying, you know, it's time to step into your power. You know what to do. Um... Moon magic. Yeah, recent or upcoming moon cycle holds the answer you seek. Sacred place, feelings of home. Conscious. The person in question is awake and aware. Hmm. Okay, what can we say about removing it, though? What else? Raw emotion is the key. Emotional depth. Vulnerability, honest, emotion, uh, emotional expression. That's the same as like the healing card. It's like I feel for this person. It's like you didn't, you haven't been allowing yourself to heal from this. Like you haven't, you've been telling yourself you're over it, but it's like you're not. And you need to go back and you have this mother figure that's trying to help you with this. And trying to get you through this. Yeah, someone's like using like less seduction, grammar magic, power struggle. Yeah. Okay. What do they do to remove that? What do they do to remove that? What do they do to remove it? Fear, anxiety. Don't don't get for don't get don't become afraid of this because it's it's again you can remove this yourself. It's not anything to be afraid of. Even I've had so many people do black magic on me. Like I cannot even count how many people have tried to tried to throw crap at me or tried to do black magic on me. And it's like I just. I send it back to them. Like, there's there's always going to be haters, especially if you're coming into your power. There's going to be people that are jealous of you. But you can you you're not you're not stuck in this energy. Okay, this is just letting you know what's going on. But you can get out of this energy yourself. You really can. You can step into your power and get out of this. I'm desperately trying to get through to you. Can you feel me when I think of you? I think it's like you need to bubble yourself from this person. It's like they're yelling at you telepathically because of their own guilt and their own regret and their own fear. And it's like, you need to just bubble yourself. You need to just be done with this. It's hard because you got the past life connection here. And because you're an empath too, they keep draining you. Summon. And calling in your power, you know, take the next step towards what you love. Um... Any final messages? Did not mean for this to go so long. <laughs> get out of that nostalgia, you know? Get out of that nostalgia. Look at this for what it is. I hate to... I, and this is a harsh reading. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's so harsh. I, I don't like giving readings like this. I like to give happy, cutesy readings, but this isn't one of those. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I like to give you guys good messages, but this is kind of more of like, you know, you got someone here who's like, hey... Hey, pay attention. <laughs> See how she's like looking at this this skull. It's like that's almost like what you need to do with your twin, like with this situation. Whether it's even if it's your twin's karmic that's toxic, if like he's not, if he or she is not leaving them, that's their decision. You know what I mean? You don't want to be dragged because you're getting dragged into that energy. The karmic 
if that's your situation, the karmic is like doing black magic to keep you guys apart. And it's like at some point though, it is up to him or her if they're going to leave that person. Like, are they just going to stay in that energy? Because it's not fair to you because it's affecting you and it's dragging you down and it's lowering, lowering your vibration. So if your twin is just not willing to let that go and they're just going to stay in this karmic cycle with this person, it's like, there's not much you can do, you know? And I... Like, I just from experience, like, I've been in those cycles where it's, like, you try to do spell work to help them, to protect them, to heal them, and sometimes it's just a merry-go-round, you know? At some point, you have to be, like, you know, this is a grown man, this is, or this is a grown woman, like, if they're going to stay in this situation, that's their choice, you know what I mean? And you have to detach and pr protect yourself, because it's, they have free will, it's up to them, you know? And if they care about you, then they should not be allowing this karmic whoever they are they shouldn't be allowing this karmic to affect them like that like they need to choose between you and the karmic you know what I mean like and if they really love you they're going to take that risk for you even if it's scary and unfamiliar they're still going to detach from the karmic and put you first they're not going to put you in this situation where you're constantly having to psychically battle for them and you're constantly being sucked into this energy it's like you're you're true love is going to want to protect you. They're going to make an effort. They're going to talk to you. They're going to do something. They're not just, you know what I mean? Like they wouldn't just, I don't know. It's almost like you need to just be honest with yourself and you need to look at this situation as like dead. I hate to say it like that, but it's like, because they're making their choice, you know? If they're, if they're choosing the karmic, it's like they're choosing, they're saying they want someone else over you. And it's like, yes, there is black magic involved. And yes, you can remove it if you've been doing that. But at the same time, like it's all, it's not just black magic. It's also their own free will. It's also their own, they're consciously making that decision to stay in their energy. They're constantly choosing someone or something else over you. I hate to say it like that, but but, you know, I'm telling you because this, whoever this is, they want to warn you about this. As much as it hurts, and I know it's something you've been trying to avoid, you know, I know it hurts a lot, and I'm sorry for that. But, you know, you guys know I'm honest on this channel. Um, but, you know, this woman wants to warn you about this. Whoever she is, she wants to warn you because she wants you to have your real true love. She does not want you stuck in this energy where you're, like, whatever it is with your twin flame. Like, she doesn't want you stuck in that energy. She, she wants you to move forward so that you can be happy. And it's like, either your twin flame is doing black magic or you have a car, like your twin flame's karmic is doing black magic. Or there's some kind of negativity going on there. And, and again, it's like, they're, they're choosing that person over you. Like they're making that decision that they're going to stay in that energy. They're making that decision that. You know, it's like, I don't know. It's just kind of saying, like, look at this situation as dead. Like, see this. She has how she's, like, looking at the skull. It's like she's facing her fear. She's facing this reality. She's not just, like, shoving it down and trying to ignore it anymore. She's, like, really being, he or she is, like, really being honest with themselves and saying, like, you know, like, this is over. This is done. My twin is either doing black magic on me or they, um, you know, they chose a karmic over me that's doing black magic. There's just some warning here. I feel like it's a woman who has, I mean, I could be wrong. It feels more like more of like a female energy, like a woman who's having black mag magic done on her. I don't get a male energy having black magic on them. I get that the male is doing the black magic and the female is the victim here. Or that the karmic is doing black magic and the female is the victim. Six of cups reversed. But again, like I said, that's their decision to stay with the karmic. You know what I mean? And like someone that loves you is going to, they're not going to entertain the karmic. Even black magic is, yes, it's it affects you, but like... Not to the point where you're just going to stay with someone that's not your true love, I don't think. You know what I mean? Like, no. It's just, you know, like, there's, there's, 
they they could still break through from that. They they still could. They could still come to you and they're deciding not to. So it's like you kind of have to see this as dead. You have to see the choice that they made. You have to see and this for somebody with like a past situation where it's like you just have to accept the pain now. You have to accept that they betrayed you, that they let you down, that they hurt you, that they chose their ego and their pride and their fear over you, that they, you know, either did black magic on you or they were friends with someone who was psychically attacking you and doing black magic on you and they didn't leave that situation or that person. They just stayed in that energy, you know? Six of Cups reversed. It's like saying stop being nostalgic because Six of Cups upright is like nostalgia and it's like, no, get out of that nostalgic energy. Get out of like the romanticizing and then maybe it could have been different and, you know, yada yada. No, see this as what it is and break free from it you got some really intense shadow work to do whoever this is for you have some intense shadow work to do but honestly you're going to keep going in circles until you do it and if you avoid it it's like you're not going to manifest your true love or the the money you want or the abundance you want I hate to say it like that but it's like you're not going to be able to manifest those things this energy is going to keep blocking you until you really look at this and do the shadow work and heal from this and cut this out and move forward yeah, because you have a heavy burden that you've been carrying with you. Hermit. Yeah, you've been in this hermit mode carrying this heavy burden for a long time. It's almost like I feel like you've been sending your twin flame like healing energy and protection and love and like all the all this good energy. It's like you've been doing all these good spells for your twin flame over the years um, or over the months or however long it's been. And it's just like, I don't know, it's hard. It's hard to accept it. It's hard to accept that it's not happening. It's hard to accept that this person is choosing the karmic or this person, whatever it is, you know? But it's like, this is, you need to stop going in circles with this. You you got to move forward now with the chariot. Yeah, chariot moving forward. Tower. Otherwise, you're going to have a tower. I hate to say it like that, but. It's like the tower reversed. It's kind of like you won't have a tower just as long as you move forward. If you stay in this energy, you might have another tower moment because your guides, this woman is trying to shake this up to protect you and free you from this person. And it's like with the tower reversed, you know, it's like you're going to have another tower moment if you don't let this go. And I get this energy, too, because I've actually been in the same situation that I just recently came out of. Um, and a lot of times, you know, it's like sometimes I'll it's like my guides want me to because I lived that. So I resonate with this that energy. So sometimes, you know, similar. It's like your story is different. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes like my guides will, you know, help like I'll go through that so I can help you guys get through it, if that makes sense. Um, and, you know, I went through that like my twin flame is is a psychic vampire. My twin flame did black magic on me for God knows what reason. And he did it for a long time. Um, occasionally he'll, you know, not recently, but in the past he's tried to tap back in and tried to, to drain my energy and tried to, you know, feed on my energy and kind of came to me like pretending like he loved me pretending. I don't know. Like I would just see him in my dreams or I would telepathically feel him and it's, it's hard. It's like, I would have to be strong and I'd have to remind myself, like, he does not love me. He does not give a crap about me. He wants to pull me back in because he's a psychic vampire and he wants to drain my energy. He wants to feed on me. He misses all the healing spells I did for him, all the abundant spells I did for him, all the money spells I did for him, all the spells I did to protect him, to heal him, to help him get his life on track. It's like he never loved me. He never gave a shit about me. But he misses that energy. He misses having someone who just loved him that much. They would just completely just continue to fight for him, continue to support him no matter what. And sometimes I'll telepathically feel him. And it's like he tries to pull, like, not recently, like I said, I've already come through this energy. But which I think is why they're showing me for you guys, for a couple of you. It's like now you're going through it. And this does, it happens more often than I'd like to admit. I've seen similar happen with other people too. Um, 
And it's like, I have to be, I have to be strong. I have to remind myself. It's like, he's pulling me in because he wants to drain me. He's pulling me in because, you know, he's a psychic vampire. It's not, he doesn't love me. He just, you know, he misses having someone that he can use. Um, and so I have to shield myself too. I have to protect myself. I have to, I have to remind myself of that. And I feel like it's kind of, a, it's kind of different for you guys. I think because for you guys, it might be a karmic that's doing the black magic. Whereas for me, it was my actual twin flame that was doing black magic on me, um, for no apparent reason. But it's like, it's like you have to, it's that energy where it's like, you have to remind yourself of that. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to do the shadow work. You need to heal this. You need to move forward. You need to realize that whatever the situation is, it's like, it's, it's holding you back from, you know, from being happy. It's holding you back from your true love. It's holding you back from someone that will actually love you and respect you and want you and be there for you. You know, not someone who just allows you to get psychically attacked and allows you to go through this negativity that you're going through. I feel like it might be your twin flames karmic though that's doing it, but still it's like you got to accept the heartbreak. You have to accept that heartbreak and move forward. Yeah, make a decision, you know, cuz you're going in circles right now and you need to be strong. You need to be guarded with this person. You need to use this sword to cut this person out whoever they are. And again, even if it's your twin flame's karmic, it's like your twin flame is still making that conscious decision to stay with them. So it doesn't matter if she's doing black magic on you. Your twin is still energetically deciding that he or she is okay with being with someone who's doing black magic on you. Like they're making that decision that they're okay staying in that energy with someone, that they're okay being with the karmic over you. Like you have to realize this is like a full grown man or full grown woman. And if that's what they're deciding, let them, let them have that. You know what I mean? Like that's their choice to make. Don't let yourself get dragged into that energy with them though. You know, you, you need to protect yourself. You really need to protect yourself. Yeah. Eight of Swords, there's a way out right in front of you. But you have all these swords around you and you are so focused on these swords that you can't see that there's an opening right in front of you to your castle. And I feel like almost because I think you've gotten frustrated because you don't know why you're not manifesting the things that you want. And it's because of this block. So it's like you have all these swords around you and it's like now it's every little thing seems like such a huge thing because you're like, where is all this abundance I've been trying to manifest? And it's like when you just kind of wake up and look at the swords and look at this illusion that you've been stuck in and you just walk right through, right, right ahead, right to your castle, it's like it's so much easier than you even realize. There's just this one little block, this one thing that needs to be removed so that you can move move towards that. Yeah, again, this is all about healing, all about releasing this, all about, you know, the next next phase of your journey. The wheel, yeah, letting this cycle go, like just being done with the cycle. You need to stand your ground. You need to be strong and assertive and protect yourself. Because it's hard because you love this person, you know. You always love your twin flame. Like, it's, you know, that's not a connection you can really cut out, but... You can still stand your ground and be assertive and stand in your power and say, you know what, I don't deserve this. I'm not going to tolerate this. I want a different life partner. I want, because you have multiple life partners, you know, and for some of you, it's like you get caught up, like, because it's like your twin flame or like, that's the person I have to be with. It's like, it's not though. I mean, you can be with, it's not saying you can't be with them, but it's, it's like, you got to stand in your power. You have to, you, you, um. You just have to stand in your power. Um, and, you know, cut cut the cords. Stand. In, um, sorry, my phone distracted me there for a second. Because um, you have, you have, you know, you can, you make that decision about who your life partner is. It's like you, I mean, you don't, not that you make the decision who your life partner is, but you're, you don't have just one life partner. You have p multiple potential life partners. You, you don't have to, if someone's toxic and they're treating you like crap, you don't have to stay in that energy. So you need to be strong and assertive and in that queen of swords energy and son of wands energy and stand your ground and cut this out. This is a time to be logical, not emotional. 
at least in regards to this situation, you can be emotional with the things that you're manifesting, like the love and the abundance and things that you're manifesting. Just whatever this situation, the twin flame or the karmic or whoever it is, don't be emotional in that situation because that's that's how they're draining you. So so you need to be strong right now. You need to be logical right now. I hope this helps you. Um, and again, you know, I just, so I just turned into a 35 minute reading. I just wanted to make the quick announcement about, um, raising my price to $50. But anyway, I hope that, I hope that was a good message for someone. Um, thanks for watching and any donations are appreciated too. My PayPal link is below. Thank you.